First, we can write cosine to power 8 minus sine to power 8 as cosine square minus sine square times cosine square plus sine square times sine to power 4 plus cosine to power 4 just we factor this we will get this we can also factor this but we don't need to factor it because we know that cosine square minus sine square is equal cosine to theta and cosine square plus sine square equal 1 and here we can write it 1 minus half sine square to theta see the description I will put the link y this equal this so our integral will become the integral of cosine 2 theta 1 minus half sorry 1 minus half sine square 2 theta d theta what we will do we will multiply by cosine both numerator and denominator and we will convert this to sine it will be 1 minus sine 2 theta 1 minus sine square 2 theta so we will also multiply by 2 the integral will be equal the integral of we have 2 cosine 2 theta d theta over over this we can write it 1 minus sine square 2 theta and 2 we will multiply it by this bracket it will be 2 minus sine square 2 theta now we will put substitution we will let sine 2 theta equal x so dx will be equal to cosine 2 theta d theta which is this so the integral will become equal all this equal dx and we have in the numerator we can we can multiply here by minus and here by minus so it will be x square minus 1 times x square minus 2 and we have in the numerator just dx times 1 we will make the numerator as the following x square minus 1 minus x square minus 2 this equal 1 now we will divide divide so it will be equal the integral of this will cancel with this minus 1 over x square minus 1 dx so the integral will be equal 1 over 2 root of 2 ln x minus root of 2 over x plus root of 2 minus 1 over 2 ln 
x minus 1, x plus 1, and the plus constant. Now x equals sine 2 theta. So the final answer will be equal 1 over 2 root of 2 lam sine 2 theta minus root of 2 over sine 2 theta plus root of 2 what is this with absolute value minus 1 over 2 then sine minus 1 over sine plus 1 thank you for your attention and see you later